Satellite internet is becoming more popular and usable each year, with 43 million people using it in 2020, and over 100 million people likely to be using it by 2030. But how does it actually work? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with why you'd want to use satellite internet. The main reason is it allows an internet connection without a copper cable or fiber optic cable running into your home. If you live in a rural or very sparsely populated area, an internet service provider is unlikely to spend the money on infrastructure to run a cable to your house. With satellite internet, this isn't a problem. Let's look at how it works. A user will need a satellite dish and a modem. The satellite dish is installed at the subscriber's location, typically on the roof or in a clear, unobstructed area. The dish is responsible for both receiving and transmitting data to and from the satellite in space. The satellite modem is connected to their computer or home network. Modem communicates with the satellite dish and converts digital data into a form suitable for satellite transmission and vice versa. When a user requests a web page, downloads a file, or performs any online activity, the request is sent from their computer to the satellite modem. The satellite modem then sends their request to the satellite dish, which aims it at the specific communication satellite serving that region. If we use Elon Musk Starlink as an example, the satellites orbit approximately 342 miles above Earth, and there are over 4,500 satellites in what's known as the Mega Constellation. Once the communication satellite for that region receives the request, it sends it back down to the ISP's ground station on Earth. Once it's inside the ISP's ground station, the process is no different from regular cable internet. The traffic is sent to the relevant web server as it normally would be. The web server will then send the requested data, such as a web page, back to the ISP's ground station, where it is sent onto the satellite, back down to the user's satellite dish, onto their modem which converts the signal back into usable data, and finally sent on to the user's device. The key thing to understand is that the satellite is just a way to forward the data onto your ISP, and then from your ISP back to you. There are no web servers or anything of that sort on board the satellite. It's possible to see satellites such as the Starlink Mega Constellation from Earth in some places, and it can be quite an impressive sight as they all travel in a straight line. Downloading almost any stargazing app will allow you to track them and they are most visible in the hours after they first launch when they orbit at a lower height. Have you ever used satellite internet or seen the Starlink satellites? Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.